Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of Water Horse. We got two more shows this year. Yes, sir. And then we're going to... Everybody better be worried. Yeah. All I can say. But I tell you what, if you do your thing, I will uh, go over the announcements and then we'll watch some victory passes. That'll work. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And JD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Hall is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Hall is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. All righty. Well, we got over the East Tennessee Fall Classic. Yes. Now the 20, let's see, uh, Celebration Fall Classic will be November 2nd through the 4th in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Contact Celebration, 931-684-5915. Show starts at 6 p.m. each night. And... Uh, Scotty Brooks, Jamie Lawrence, and Chad Williams will mark the cards. Then the United Fall Finale, 16th, 17th, 18th in Tunica, Mississippi. Contact D. Cantrell, 706-366-1011, or Sarah Smith, 931-580-5085. Derek Monahan, or Derek Bonner, I'm sorry, Derek Bonner, Ross Campbell, and Jamie Hankins will mark the cards. And that will be the final shows of this year. And as bad as I hate to say it, uh, looking at this new rule, and a lot of people don't understand this, but this. They posted a reply to the new rule. Now, it was... Have you read it yet? No, I haven't, I haven't read the reply yet. It is so well written. It's unbelievable, but people got to realize one thing. 
that was written by a friend of the industry whose wife loves to show. So we didn't have to pay for it. I mean, it didn't yeah. cost us anything. And I'm going to tell you from what I read in trying to look at all the research that he had to do, there was a lot of time, a lot of time spent on that. And just in my opinion, it probably cost 500000 just to do that. Yes. And people need to understand the difference here. That was provided to the attorneys that presented it. So all they had to do was verify. It's a lot different than research. Yeah. Just, well, he's got it right here. We look here. Well, that's right. Oh. Now comes the part where we have to wait until the USDA decides what they're going to do. So are they going to make changes or are they going to try to take the pads, the action device, and the bands, which will leave everybody with a keg shoe because they want the heavy shoes too? A lot of people don't understand that. A lot of people think, even trainers, believe, well, it's all going to be all right. They've been trying to do this for 40 years. Well, I'm smart enough to know that we always had somebody that helped us out. We don't have somebody right now. We ain't got nobody. Yeah. It comes that close before of happening. But there was a halt put to it. So now we're going to end up in court. And here's the problem. Those attorneys are not going to do that for free. Yeah. They've been paid to file the, the, the response. So now we got to move forward. And if people don't start looking at what's, what's happening and making contributions, it's going to cost quite a bit is what I'm yeah. saying. Now I've done decided what I'm doing. Now it's up to everybody else to decide what they're going to do. You're doing a wonderful job what you're doing and stuff like that for this industry, you know. And I mean, it just everybody needs time now just to come together. They do. And you know, put all your differences aside and come together as one. I'm I'm wondering if that's ever going to happen. I really am. If you want this to survive, it better happen. I mean, that's the biggest thing about it. Well, I am going to offer this. And, and you know how I am. Yeah. Before we show, any of my horses show, I call a veterinarian. I have three vets that I deal with, and I only have three vets. I got Krista, Dr. Mullins, Dr. Bennett. Yes. Now, those are the ones I do. But I have <clears throat> my horse inspected by the equine veterinarian before it goes to the show. Then I video. Anytime a USDA employee, I don't care who it is, they could have their secretary out there. If it touches my horse, I'm videoing. Yes. Because when you go to court, we, if people read the response, just the partial response that was put on the report, they're going to see that there is a lot of false positives found. Even back in 216, when 29 of the horses turned down for scar rule, none of them had a scar. That's just one example. But we, we've had things when we've talked before about three sails thick and all of this that we know is just unbelievable. We've had threats made to the DQPs that if they don't turn certain horses down, that there's going to be heck to pay. What I'm saying is laws are made to protect everybody, including those that are accused of breaking the law. Yeah. And there is one law, Code 132, that pretty much covers that if you can't falsify evidence, documents, or anything, and if you go through and you look at the reply back to the USDA, they are guilty as sin of falsifying information pertaining to their documents. 
kind of like if a horse is one sixteenth of an off on the shoeing, they're counting it as a sore horse. A horse comes out of the ring and the action device weighs just a fraction over the six ounces, that's going down as yes. a sore horse. The measurement, a sore horse. So a lot of this has nothing to do with abuse, but the USDA has used that to pad their results, which is a lie. It's fraudulent, it's falsifying documents, and a lot of times they're unjustly finding horses out. And you know a lot of times on that measurement and stuff like that, and I didn't know this until somebody brought this to my attention, that each ruler reads different. Each brand of ruler yeah. reads different. Rulers do read different. Read, read different. <laughs> but it, 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 that, and the scales, <laughs> on a lot of different scales, you can have one scale one, one scale other, and it'll read different. So, I mean, that's, that's the they biggest thing. They have to thing. be the same. They have to be the same. The same brand or whatever to, of ruler. To be, to be right. They're, that's right. Well, I tell you what, let's watch some victory passes and then we'll just wait and see how everybody does. But if they don't get busy, people, y'all can think what you want, but it, it's here. Amateur yep. 15 over reserve winner, a king thing, and Bob Adcock. I tell you what, I appreciate Bob Adcock. I do too. He, uh, I told him what we was doing with the 25% going to the, so he, uh, he took, took a thumbs up. He wanted everything that he showed, reserve or winning, he wanted an ad because he wanted the 25% to go to legal action. And believe me, we're going to need legal action. A lot of legal action. Yeah. Here's a paddock master. Kenny Smith felt the same way. Amateur owned and trained specialty, the paddock master. <coughs> Kenny says, put me in. My hat goes off, goes off to all of the ones that help support this. Hey, it, it, I appreciate them. And a lot of these are the same ones that always advertise with yes. us, which I appreciate that. So they're, they're, they're helping both ways. Here's Spotlight on Jose, two-year-old stallion winner. Bob Adcock's the owner. Tell you what, that's a good. That's a good horse. I bet you a lot of them North Carolina fans are hoping something is worked out. <coughs> that is one place you go. You always got a house full. Of that's right. That's a wonderful show right there. It is. Been there for years. Here's me and Pocahontas. That horse has never been beaten in the pro am class. That's a nice mare. It is, super nice mare. Me and Pocahontas, Allison Armstrong and Tyler Balkum. See what they can get her done, can't they? Yeah. We got our audience back, same one that was here last year, last week, Chair. Yes, right. All right. Honored in Texas and Bob Adcock, reserve in the amateur five and over stallion. That's a real nice horse, too. Bob got a bunch of good horses now. Oh, he, he does. He can ride a horse real well, too, presenting oh, hey, real hey, good. He's a good showman. Yeah. You need to give a call out to your audience over there. Yeah. Well, she's a little quiet back there. She's Kayla Underwood. Here's smoking. Tyler Balkum for Allison Armstrong, four-year-old Marion Gildan winner. I tell you what, that is a nice mare. That is a nice mare, real nice mare. You know, we got a lot of nice mares. Oh, yeah. We do. Now you have a, a, like you say, a bunch of good mares 
before you had one or two good ones that kind of stood out, but then you have, now you have a pretty good amount of them that kind of stands out. Well, when they go in that married gilding class, used to, you know, everybody say, well, that gilding going with you now. Yeah, you know, no, that's right, that marriage. In fact, she shows against some of these studs they ain't yeah. going. But there's Twisted with Honors and Tyler Balkum for Allison Armstrong. You know, a lot of those horses show twice up there. Yeah. There's one that showed twice in North Carolina and turned around and showed again in East Tennessee this yeah. weekend. Mm -hmm. And they, they talk about the condition of our horse. That's the condition of our horse. Yeah. If they get honest inspections, they can show multiple times. Right there is Harley Quinn and Beth Collins, far Beth Collins, amateur Baron Gildan winner. You know, this is about one of the only breeds that does that, can show that many times back to back, you know, at one show. You know, you take a thoroughbred, once you run him that time, you might not see him no more. For a month. For a month or so. And that, that's true. He can't run three, sh three races back to back every day. Big horses right here, they're taken care of. And I'm, I want to point something else out. Harley Quinn, now that right there is in North Carolina. That was a show event. This past weekend was Curtis Pittman's group. Yeah. The inspections, all these inspectors are great. Yes. But now they're rougher at the show events than they are at Curtis Pittman's. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense because Curtis is tough. Yeah. Youth, Lebanon Underwinter. It's the medalist in Eli Cunningham. And just so I stay out of the doghouse, that's the third year in a row. Yeah. He retired that trophy. That's a nice horse. We'll be using some of these and going back to multiple times because between now and the end of the year, a whole lot of work going to have to be done to, to save our pads and action yeah. device. And showing things like this is going to be one of them that helps. Because this horse had to show twice in North Carolina to be able to do this. Yeah. It's the third year in a row that he's gone up there and done it. Oh, Eli can flat ride. Oh, yeah, he can. He's a good rider. Makes your granddaddy puff that chest out. <laughs> now, I'm gonna mention this one more time. They picked out a nice suit for him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they said he's gonna get that one right there. Mm-hmm. Quite an honor, your 12 to 17 winner in Maxine Beasley for Beth Beasley. They, and they done a good job. Yep, that horse showed twice. Yeah. And, and I tell you, they are some pretty good cooks. They made some cookies <laughs> and these they did see <laughs> over there. They gave me one, it was real good. There's a lady at church we call the cookie lady because she's, she is well known for her cookie making. Yeah. Good cooks get recognized quick. Yeah, Beth will tell me that they like to cook cookies. <laughs> some good girls they up are there, some buddy. Good girls. Now they I are. Sit down and talk to them. Here's Twisted with Honors again, and Allison Armstrong, your amateur ladies winner. I'm gonna tell you what now, that's one, one good horse. Oh yeah, that's a real good horse. Get it done. That's a lady right there that loves to show. Yeah. Loves her horses, buddy. Right here is final answer and Allie Joe Jacobs. 
That's another one. They advertise all the time, but now Jake called me and he said, I want to make sure you get ours in there. Yeah. That's a good family there, too. Oh, yeah. Do a lot for the industry. Jake's a big help for the shows, and that crew of his, I mean, you, you talk all day and and not pay them enough tribute yeah. for what they do. And there's Jake on I Sing Dixie, amateur four-year-old Marion Gildan winner. That's another good four-year-old mare. Mm -hmm. like to have a horse show where he only shows the best of the best. That, that's you are right. All every horse in it had to be a first place horse, horse. during yeah. the year they had to win. It's a good one right there. That'd be a good class to come up with. Yep. Goat class. Mm-hmm. That's it. Somebody can do that. Yeah. <laughs> Won't be me. Here's Cousin Bob. Now that's a good horse right there, too, now, yes, I tell you. Jimbo's another good for them. Oh, yeah. That's another horse that showed there in North Carolina and then showed this last weekend yeah. over and here. Won. And won. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I tell you. Jimbo, Chris, that whole crew over there is some outstanding people. I'd have to say that. They're a bunch of good ones, buddy. They are. And here out here is a kingpin and Bob Adcock. I can't tell you how much I appreciate these people for their advertising and their just support. Yeah. It's a big thing. Right there, switchblade. We knew it was coming. We just didn't know when. Oh yeah. But now, see, you're talking about a young lady that's worked hard. She has worked hard for that. She can flat set that up. We'll probably see her a couple more times this year. It's gonna be hard. Oh yeah, it is. It's gonna be a mighty hard. There, there's a king thing again. strike. This Arbery Derrickson now, and quite an honor show in that class too. Yeah. Shows back. Uh -huh. They beat each other up yeah. there. That shows the competitiveness. That is. In that class and how close these horses are. Now that young lady is a good rider oh, yeah. too. She's a I real good rider. Grandfather Ralph proud of her. Texas and Bob Adcock, your amateur championship reserve. Tell you what, now he's tough. Oh, yeah. 
Bob I'm got a good Yeah, he do have real good string horses now. I tell you. He gonna be knocking at your door every time you look around. He ain't going nowhere, that's for that's sure. That's right. I tell you, this horse do so much for a lot of people's life, livelihood. Yeah. I tell you, you just don't realize it. Well, it supports a lot. It supports a lot of charities. It supports a lot of businesses. And the final answer, Park Pleasure Amateur Championship, and there's Jake. Now remember, now the Joe's on one blue on this one. Yeah. So he showed him back in the state class. Jake probably made a deal with Ali Joe. I'll let you qualify. Yeah. You know, I'll let you get a blue, but then I'm gonna win the roses. <laughs> or she talked him into it. One mm -hmm. or the other. Right there he is, Mr. True Blue. That is your 2022 four-year-old world grand champion. And he has won his share of state classes this year. Mr. True Blue and I am Kelly for the Jacobs family. I'd pretty much call that getting it done, yeah. wouldn't you? I know Jake and them come back on cloud nine. Oh, yeah. They had, a, they had a good show up there. All righty, where are we at? Oh, you're up. Yeah. We'll be right back after these messages. Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now, this is the offspring. Now, Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, that, I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young, um, but now, I tell you, got, all, got a lot of talent, that hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. The impact of a meal goes well beyond feeding our bodies. Food can open endless possibilities for people to thrive. Because when people are fed, futures are nourished. Everyone deserves to live a full life. And with your help, Together we can end hunger. Join the movement at feedingamerica.org slash act now. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip. And then, boom, adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind. Or bring the crowd for some stargazing. Or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse. But I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. We've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411 and see if I can save you money on your communication. We have got <clears throat> two victory passes from the Racking Championship that I want to show. That uh, pretty, pretty good, pretty good horses. Yeah. And Jamie Lawrence, he is uh, 
he's a pistol, but right here he is. He's slim. That's baby. a good horse right there. Now, our horse was in that class. Yeah. I did think he deserved a whole lot better ribbon than he got, but that's me. But uh, that right there wasn't going to beat him. No, uh, no that's I mean, a good horse right there. That, that's a racking horse. I got yeah, a walking, walking horse. horse. Yeah. I got a walking horse I tried to enter in a racking class. <laughs> Didn't work. But now that right there, he won the preliminary and then come back and won the championship, buddy, and like walking through Georgia. Yeah. Jamie is a heck of a, heck of a trainer. He is. Heck of a trainer. And then here he is when he won the World Grand Championship for the racking division. <coughs> and he does a good job with the Morrison. I would like for everybody to still keep Jamie and his family in your prayers. Yes. Yeah, that's, a, that, that's a terrible thing that yes. happened to their grandbaby. But I'm going to tell you, he, uh, he's being strong through it now. I know it would be hard. It would be hard for me. I'm going I'm to tell you, I don't know if I can stand up to it. That but now, he's, he, he is. I talked yeah. to Jamie quite a bit. And he has been in my prayers a lot yes. here lately. But he... Uh, he, he's standing up to it, and the whole family is really. Yeah. I mean, there. I kind of remember, order, remember Jamie everybody. when he first got it, when he got his starter. And right here is another one. Yes, that's a good horse there, now, too. That, but now that's a racking horse, buddy. Honors image in County Green for Shane Porterfield. That's the first green to ever win. A world grand championship in rack. Mm -hmm. And she beat her dick. <laughs> <laughs> but now, Shane told me, he said, he said, they said, they asked me about it, I told him to go for it. Because he was he was tickled with that. Yeah. It is pretty good now. It, it's, pretty, it's pretty neat. But now those those are racking horses. Oh yeah. Shane told me, he said, that you know, awesome. Shane made a good show. hardly yeah. any. But now he, he's got, if you notice, he does not really reach, reach, yeah. reach way out. <clears throat> he was enjoyed to watch. Yeah. Well, County, County's a good ride. Yeah, she you is. Could, you can sit and watch her ride because she, she can flat and get it done and and she'll, there ain't no telling what that young lady will do because now she can ride. Oh, yeah, they like it now. They're raised up into it, doing yep. it. All right, now we're going to travel east to East Tennessee. Did you have a good time up there? I did. had a real good time up there. Well, I tell you what, they had a great show up there. They had a real good yeah. show. At 15 2 and under class, it was loaded. 15 to and under. Cousin Bob won it after he won in North Carolina for Jimbo Connors, Hayden Burks in the South. I am Mighty Jose and Tanner Burks was reserved for Shane Porterfield. He's for real, Renardo Green. Elway, Ed Grabernathy. Whistling Dixie, Jordan Cardell. I am Charlie, Scott Beatty. Out of control, Chris Zand, Rio Lobo. Jackie Byram, a Dixie Playboy, Ashley Helton Gibbons, and Kung Fu. Nick Plafkin finished out the ribbon. I tell you, Jerry, I hope a lot of people stop and uh, think about our future. Yeah. They think about all the hard work that one person's done, and then they realize that the only thing that we've got right now, we're gonna have to work if we want to stay alive. And there's gonna have to be some fighting in court. Oh yeah. Because now it's past what what the congressman did, but here, here's what really upsets me. For years and years, we have given thousands of dollars to politicians and we have ended up in the same spot year in, year out. Yeah. 
with never no real relief, just a, a kind of putting off, uh -huh. put off, put off, delay, delay, delay. But now, those days are gone, and a lot of people better realize it. I just hope they do realize it and get busy and understand that now we're going to have to settle this in a court of law. Yeah. It's not going to be settled in Congress. They've got their money and run. Here's your reserve winner. I am Mighty Jose and Tanner Burks for Shane Porterfield. Your 15 to and under reserve winner. I am Mighty Jose. Good horse. Real good horse. I'm fixing to show you why. And another example of what good condition oh, yeah. the horses are in. Because remember, the government was also in white pine. Yeah. And here's your amateur ladies class. And guess who the winner of that class was? Candy Green on I Am Mighty Jose for Shane Porterfield. Titles Grand Slam and Naomi Barkley was reserved. Ink Master Lacey Bailey, third. He's pocket change, Debbie Simpson. Floyd Money Mayweather finished out the ribbon. Your ladies, Katie Green put on a show. They had a good show up there, real good show. Do now you know what did. the totally entries was up there? You know, no, I don't, but it was high. Yeah, but it was quite, quite a few. I hope everybody. If they don't see it on the Facebook page, my Facebook page, or the What a Horse TV video group Facebook page, that they, if they're members of the report, they go to the report and read the reply. Because it will show the highlights of the response. It doesn't show the whole response. That response is 61 pages long. Yeah. <laughs> If everybody, anybody see Candy out there, tell her a bear, her, ask her about her bear experience. Bear, bear <laughs> experience up there in East Tennessee. Did she run into one? No, I think her and um, Charlie and, and all of them kind of played a joke on them about the oh. bears and stuff like that with the little dog. They thought they heard one in the bushes. No. And she was scared. We went skiing in West Virginia one time, looked out the door, and there's one on the back porch. Here she is, amateur ladies winner, Candy Green, and I am Mighty Jose for Shane Porterfield. Seventeen. Elway and Lacey Matthews took the blue, but a Super Bowl MVP in BB Beasley had her cheering section there too. Pit Bull was third with Caitlin DeSalle and old timer Bailey Rouse. people cheering. I'm gonna tell you, that's a big size arena. Big size arena. Yeah, that is a big arena up there. That, that arena is big.
Right there's a Super Bowl MVP was reserved. I'll tell you what, that, that, that is, she just plum good. Thing. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's it in a nutshell. Plum good. I like that flat wall. Real good right there. Well, when you get them down where they'll do that slow flat walk, yeah. that, that's when I think horses are the best. Here's your amateur five-year-old. This wasn't a big class, but it was a good one. There's some good horses in it. Grayton Beach and Jake Jacobs took the blue. Irony and Skyland Wilson was reserved. And I'm an NRA fan. I am too, baby. That finished out your ribbons. Even the small classes had a lot of talent yeah. in them. Show. That's a good, that's a good man. Yeah. Here's your amateur canter class. This was another, didn't have a lot of horses in it, but it was a good class. Jose, it ain't so, and Jake Jacobs took the blue in this one. Pocket time was reserved. That made it worthwhile right there. Oh, yeah. But that was your canter class. That was two good horses. That pocket time's a good horse. Well, you know, I'm, I probably shouldn't make this remark, but I'm not at the point now. I really don't care. You. Whatever you say. This show is making a good show, but at this time, when these show, when these classes come out, the, the, the government was pretty rough on this show right here at this point in time. That, that's and, what I was told. And and that's what happened. That's why the classes wasn't as big at this point in time. And I mean, I'm gonna tell you, Curtis Pittman's crew does a wonderful job. They put good showable horses in the ring and done and done a, and done a heck of a job. But now, when you got somebody like somebody like the government come in there, well, we've and, got three, Jerry. That sometimes I think they're in competition with each other yeah. on turning people down. I mean, I really do. Here, here, this was a good class. Use ponies. I am big enough. Now, this horse has already shown once. Yes. Best show. Maxine was showing this time. She took the blue. I like Jen. Caroline Stanley was reserved. Our girl, Charlie. Caitlin Peeler. I am busting loose. Caitlin DeSale. A major parole. Skyland Wilson. And I'm a pistol Pete. Caroline Sales finished out the ribbons. But Jerry, I'm gonna tell you, in, in the way it is now, and, and I'm just gonna say it because it is the truth, uh, the research done will back up exactly what I am about to say, and that is, when you have a group that's doing something unethical or just plain dishonest, it gets to be hard to cover up because you have to continue to create problems, which only creates more evidence of wrongdoing. And the USDA has found theirself in a position to where no lie is available to cover up what they've done. Yeah. And it's so obvious in what they've done. They falsified evidence. They falsified documents. They've broken several laws. And I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm one that I'm guilty of calling the police on them before. Well, 
<clears throat> my biggest thing is just like Youth Pony Winner, I am big enough than Maxine Beasley for owner Beth Beasley. But just, just like my biggest thing is like the great Wiz Wizard that worked for Yokely for, for so many years say they ain't but big bullies. Yeah. Well they are. They're and, they're and, bullies and, 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 in what they do. But I'm gonna tell you, if, if people just watch, have a bet, check your horse. Do not take him unless you know he's 100%. If they start falsifying, call the police on them. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's got to where it's ridiculous. It used to be everybody's scared of them. I tell you, I'm not afraid of the USDA. Yeah. They, they, they have to answer to the same laws I do. And I'm more than willing to hold them up to those standards. The Pro-Am, Joe Paul took the blue with Shane Porterfield and Tanner Burks. Charlie on fire, Jeanette Taylor and Tyler Balcom. Jose's Red Rock, Buck Williams and Lexi Stinnett. The Dragon Fire. I don't know who was in there with Jake. Snapdragon, Wanda Goodson and Dickie Shrivener. Well played Sam, Paige Smith and Molly Smith. High stakes at the Ritz, Brian Swift and Mackenzie Alshire. It was a good class too. Yes, it was. Real yeah. good class. But I'm a firm believer in people following the yeah. law. And I'm a firm believer if you've got a horse that shouldn't be carried to a horse show, then you, you get what you deserve. Yeah. But when they continuously go after certain people and target yeah. people, and just for the, I mean, come up with ridiculous reasons to turn horses down. Oh yeah. And expect us to believe it and stand for it. Well, I'm, I'm up. Oh, you're right there. There's your winner, Joe Paul and Shane Porterfield for Tanner Burks. I'm gonna tell you that horse looked good with Tanner on him and with Shane on yeah. him. I mean, look there, that's Shane there. Yeah. Shane's a good jockey. Mm-hmm. Getting it done. I think that's the first time Shane ever showed that horse, I guess. Might be. I know he, he doesn't show as much as he'd like yeah. to. I think he, he's one of these that says, well, let the trainer do it. Yeah. You know? But every now and then he likes to get on him. I don't blame him. You're going to have to do your job one more time here. We'll be right back after these messages. Welcome to where the 5 to 9 more than makes up for the 9 to 5. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat. Days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had since the last time you were here to old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you wanna be. The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring braiding season. Minor Ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five world grand championships, one world grand championship, and the reserve world grand championship as well. Make the call to breed to a true champion, Minor Ordeal, 931-680-0897. Where does your donation to the Humane Society of the United States really go? Their CEO makes more than $450,000. Their top execs make more than $200,000 each. The Humane Society of the United States isn't even affiliated with any local humane societies and only gives about 1% of the money it raises to local pet shelters. So if you want to help homeless pets, give to local shelters. 
Learn more at humanewatch.org. More of What a Horse coming up. All right. We got just a few more, and then uh, we're going to have to wait until we have another horse show. Yes, sir. But we, we're going to, one thing we're going to do for the rest of the year, people, and I can promise you this, I'm going to defend this industry. I'm going to defend it. You've been it. doing this for a long time to defend this industry, Jerry. Well, and, I, and I appreciate everything you've done. Well, I appreciate you saying that, but I want you to know, I know that we're putting quite a horse on the shelf, but that's December 34th. Until then, we're defending this industry yeah. because this industry is in the right. The USDA is in the wrong. That's the bottom line. Yeah. All right, let's get to some more victory passes. Amateur Racking Championship. Boy, this is something, ain't it? <laughs> Back in black, too, Emily Kaiser Jackson took the blue, but it was protest that, and Shane Porterfield took the reserve. I thought that was great. I am a survivor, Gerald Osborne. Hill Billy Jose, Christy Southern Maggard. Lights, camera, action. Must be in the movie. Rebel Honor, Cody Blazer. Finished out the ribbon, but it was protest that. I like that name. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to protest. We're going to protest that. Just watch us. Here we come. You know, some of these racking horses, they, to me, that looks like a racking horse. Yeah. Some of these racking horses, though, look like they're walking horses. And to be honest, they're all walking, walking. horses. They all, <laughs> they all, they're all walking horses. Just some walking. of them shake that head a lot more than don't. don't. That's right. Some of them reach, some of them don't. up there though. Yeah. One thing they are. There he is. Oh, test that. Shane Porterfield. Amateur Racking Championship Reserve winner. I'm proud of you, Shane. You, you wearing a blue and wearing a red. Yeah. Got some good horses. Oh, yes. Same good, good horses. horses. Shane is good for the industry, too. Yes, he is. Shane's we got a guy. lot of good people in this industry, yeah. real good people. Here is your championship for the youth. Elway and Lacey Matthews took the blue. Super Bowl MVP and B.B. Beasley was reserved for. Chris Kyle, Jake Jeffers, third, Astro, Brianna Rutledge, and Irony, Skyland Wilson finished out the ribbon. I want everybody to just be sure that you check out the post on the report. Check it out on my Facebook page and on the Water Horse TV video group Facebook page. Yeah. It was a great reply, and that's just abbreviation of it. I mean, the full reply is really something. You can see the, I mean, it goes back years, bringing up different situations throughout the years that the government has done certain things that were wrong. And then when you read, and you pointed out on some of what the government says is shown to be wrong on their own website. Oh, yeah. Their own numbers don't even match up. 
some of the things that's been done through the years just to find a horse non-compliant. Unbelievable. Super Bowl MVP and B.B. Beasley took reserve position in the 12 to 17 championship class. I'll have to ask them, they're making you cookies. I don't see why they don't make you one. <laughs> I'm going to have to talk to Beth about that. It was the girls. I ain't getting from Beth now. No, the it girls. Wasn't Beth. Okay, yeah, it was the girls. girls gave it. I need to ask them girls yeah. why don't they make me a cookie. I like cookies. <laughs> I ain't supposed to have them, but I like them. I had a really good time sitting down there talking to them in Asheville, North Carolina, and at this White Pine Church. They're, they're a lot of fun. They to are. To. I have some good conversations with Beth. Yeah. Now, Beth, Beth is a good is, person. Yeah, she, she is, is knowledgeable about this horse. Yes, yeah, she is. Now, she, she knows Him about Greg, the horse. Greg is too. Yeah, Greg, Greg all is all We got a lot of people in this industry that really and truly, they, they understand the industry, they understand the horses. And what I don't understand is why the USDA it, it, I don't understand why they can't just go to a horse show and inspect a horse the way it's supposed to be inspected instead of trying to create things that they can't prove. Yes. Now, before you would go to their court, and if the judge didn't agree with them, I said, well, heck, we'll just go find us another judge yeah. and come back and get it again. So there it is. Everybody be sure to go to the Fall Classic. We got two shows left. The Fall Classic in Shelbyville and United Fall Finale in Tunica, Mississippi. After that, we may not have another padded horse show. Yeah. And that's something everybody needs to think about. Even the flash shots, you may be reduced down to a keg shoe with yeah. no band. Because that's what they're wanting. That's what they've got listed. Just read the final rule and ask yourself if you can live with it or would you like to give some of the money that you would give to politicians Think, through yeah. the years if you wouldn't like to give an attorney that can actually get something done. Yeah. That's, that's the point. That's the point we're making right now. And trainers need to start talking to the owners about it too. That's you exactly I, right. It's D-Day. Yeah. There is no tomorrow. Folks, we will see you next week. You going to come back? Yes, sir. Okay. I'll be back. I'm, I'll call you. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> we'll get together. Everybody have a good weekend, and we will see you next week with another episode of Water Horse. Everybody be safe out there. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. I got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.